Hello. Hey there. How's it going, Arlene? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good. So you're in L.A.? Yes, I am. Awesome. I'm in Austin. Nice, warm, sunny places. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I have family out in San Antonio, so. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've got yeah. lots of relatives in San Antonio, too. <laughs> cool. Cool. So, uh. <laughs> I um I had a buddy of mine, Tim Levy, was the person that uh, suggested I give you a call. Really? I don't, know if, I don't know if you remember any gigs you've done for him, but he said that you you do really great work. So. Oh okay. <laughs> anyway, your fame precedes you. Oh well, that sounds that's great. <laughs> So, um, what, I, what I'd like to do is, I, I was looking at your um, Fiverr page, and I was thinking that um, we've got a girl that's um, like 18 or 19, and she's just finding her way in life, and I've suggested several times that um, she ought to, you know, look over Fiverr and see how, you know, people do things on there, and she seems well suited to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, I, I, what I would be interested in is if you could just um, talk a little bit about um, you know how you how you would suggest if somebody was just starting out with Fiverr how they would um, you know get started and maybe do some of the similar things that you're doing okay um, well definitely pick something uh, pick a talent pick something that she's good at or something that she enjoys and remember, you have it has to be anything that you would she would do for five dollars. Right. So if she's um, so, what is she into? Computers or uh, well, you know, she she's she's really a, a beautiful girl, and so um, you know, any kind of um, you know, like uh, like I noticed, you've got like a, a, a voiceover stuff. I mean, I could see her doing things like you know product mm -hmm. placements or video reviews mm -hmm. like for Amazon books or um, uh, yep. things like that so and the, the thing about Fiverr which is great about it is that um, you can just you can post up a lot of different things you don't have to, I mean if you, if you have a talent or if you have um, something that you're good at or something that you like doing um, that you can make a living off of you can post it on on Fiverr you know, um, like I, I do different. All I, I for me, I do different things. I do a lot of different things. So that's why I post whatever um, I like to do, and I post it up on on Fiverr. And that's how I kind of started. Yeah. So uh, for people listening to this, it's uh, Fiverr dot com slash Smiley Gal, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, yep. I was looking through here. So you've got things like I'll record a voiceover for fifteen seconds long. And you know, yeah. if you start thinking about it, so fifteen seconds for five dollars—that's yep. um, what does what does that come out to be? That's um, twenty dollars a minute. So that's twenty times uh, twenty times sixty. Right. That's twelve hundred dollars an hour. Right. So you know, like I was talking with her today, and I said, "Well, how much are you getting paid?" She's working at Victoria's Secret, and I said, "How much are they paying you?" She said, seven dollars and seventy cents cents an hour." Oh wow! So it's the difference between seven dollars an hour and twelve hundred. Right. I mean, that's exactly. a big. I mean, so uh, is it all right if I ask what your chronological age is? Um, I'm in my th I'm in my uh, early thirties. Okay, so early thirties. So this so this is a good question for a teenager to ask: Is why would somebody in their thirties that obviously has that much life experience be working on Fiverr instead of you know going some to some brick and mortar stuff place? And so why do you do Fiverr instead of going to a job? Because I like being an entrepreneur. I don't like to work for someone else. I've um I've I did the corporate world for a long time and I was making great money but I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to do things that I enjoy doing. Right. And that's the difference. I like, you know, I like my my flexibility and the t my time management. Um so that's what it that's what it all boils down to if you if you you know want to work for someone else if you um i mean fiverr isn't the only thing that i do i do other things it's just a, it's simple mental you know um but it it works because there's a lot again i post of different things and it uh, it helps so, so yeah so i see you're doing like 15 second uh voiceovers you've got another one here that's um embed your website link or logo into one of your blogs which we'll we'll have to talk about um, 
you know, what your blogs are that you run, because some other people might like to contact you about that. Um, mm-hmm. I'll tell you how to earn money as a blogger. That's a good one. Uh, I'll give, I love this one. I'll give you love, relationship, and life advice <laughs> for five bucks. I've, I've done those, and, and people um, like it, so, you know, it works. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. I'll uh, include your website address and episode of my internet show. You know, one of the things I'd recommend you add as a gig, too. I'm looking here. Let's see if you have it here as a gig. Uh, I'll write a book review for your website, or I'm guessing also you do that for Kindle books, yes? I do book reviews for, yeah, uh, Goodreads or um, and whatever site that they, or whatever book they want me to, you know, read. Awesome. Um, so, um, let's see, um, one of the things you might consider doing, putting another gig on here, is to, um, how many people does your, um, uh, do you do podcasts, or how do you reach your, um, audience? Um, what audience? As well, far you as said you had, like, uh, where was that listing here? It said you had, uh... Are you talking about my, um, my show? I have a, uh, I have an internet show as well that I've done, which has a really good following. It's it's all through YouTube usually. Okay, yeah. So here's a so uh, do you have um, what's your YouTube channel so people can find you? Um, all Arlene TV, I believe. Let me find. I believe it's just All Arlene. Cool. I'll, I'll, that'll give me enough to find it. But anyway, so All, all Arlene, um, what do you typically have as your topics on that show? The All Arlene TV is the uh, channel, and it's doing pretty well. It's you know I've got almost a million views. Cool. My 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 um my ep- my episodes, you know, start at like averages about a hundred thousand views per episode. So, so what do you pretty- typically have as a topic for one of your episodes, or what what do you most <laughs> enjoy talking about? Um, actually, for 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 this particular show, um. I started it because I have a very big fan base on Fanbox, which is my blogging site. Right. Um, and so um, I started there with da- about talking. Uh, I talk about dating and life and, gotcha. uh, in LA mainly about like. So basically, it's me and like three of my friends. Um, we're, we're women of different ages and ethnicities, cool. um, picking a t- particular subject that I you know I bring up, and we talk. It's kind of like. The view versus with uh, like sex in the city kind of thing. So we talk about different ranges of topics, um, things that men and women would like, you know, would like to know what we're, we're thinking about. Yeah. So you might, uh, you know, um, so your episodes, I'm guessing, are like in the five to ten minute range or something like that. Um, or do they go le- long? No, they're pretty short. We try to keep them short, within like about five minutes. Well, so you could do a gig that you could have like a interview with somebody to you know to put on your episode for a five dollar gig. Um, yeah, um, I've, I've kind of thought about it. We haven't done any new episodes in a while, but um, that's something to think about as well. Since our following starting to pick up. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that uh, gives a good uh, starting point for me to pass this off to our our girl there, and so she can determine if she'd like to go work at uh, Victoria's Secret for seven dollars an hour and hate every minute of it, or sit home and pick lentil out of her navel and um, lint out of her navel and get twelve hundred bucks an hour. And yeah, I mean it depends. It, which, which again, um, I would also re- like uh, I would also recommend um, what. What I've been doing is uh, fan box as well. That's another. Oh yeah! In fact, that was um, I was going to ask you if you'd be willing to send me an invite to fan box because you have to have an invite now to. Yes. Yes. Have you um, have you heard about it or how did you? Oh yeah. So maybe that's what we could wrap up with. If uh, yep. if you could send a, a invite to David at David. Well, let's see. I'll just type the email address in here so you've got it for sure, David. Ed. Because it's closed right now, unless you have an invite. So yeah, uh, why don't you wrap up by telling, you know, explaining what Fanbox is and how you specifically use it? Because looking at your Fanbox profile, it looks like you're doing pretty darn well there. Yeah. Okay. So you've actually actually gone to my profile. Yeah. Um. Actually, that it's it's a, it's a social networking and blogging site, which is really awesome. It's very similar to Facebook. It looks like it looks like Facebook. Um, they're still a private company, uh, still like in the development of stages, but it's 
you know, you basically get paid for doing the things that you would do on Facebook anyways, like posting pictures. Yeah, so that's um, the important thing to share is it's basically a Facebook that instead of Zuckerberg and family keeping all the money, they share right. it with the community. So explain exactly. people how that works. Yeah, so that's, um, I mean, there's different ways to earn on there. It's not just blogging. Uh, once you get, once you get um, inside and take a look, it looks pretty complex, but if you have someone helping you, um, there's people on the site that, that uh, help you as well. Like, you need, um, and I actually do a lot of work for Fanbox as far as, like, uh, oh, cool. teaching and stuff. So and is uh, it you'll okay find me it... all over there. <laughs> you'll find me all over Fanbox. I'm all over there. I'm one of their top earners. Um is it okay if I pass along the link to your uh, fan box, that 29-page book that you wrote? Sure. Yeah, I okay. sell. Yeah, I sell things on there too. I, those are they, those do really well. <laughs> so I do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, I'll send you an invitation. Um, usually they they've kind of they, again they've closed it off now, so where you can only invite you know one or two people. I have one invitation left, so I'll. I'll, I'll awesome. If it's that, yeah, if it's something you and your daughter or whoever, um, it's only one account per person, though. Right. And have to be at least eighteen. So if she's eighteen enough, then yep. that's perfect. So um, I could send her an invitation after I get set up, then. Uh, yes, but awesome. there's a waiting list. That's what, that's the, the thing with that. So if you're if you're a newer member, you might not be able to be able to invite someone right off awesome you have well, to find somebody else well i think what i'll do is uh yeah i can probably network with people i'm pretty good at networking so i can i can um once i get your invite i'll get myself set up and i'll pick up a copy of your book and i'll just start uh, playing with fanbox because it looks just freakishly cool yeah it's it's cool it's gonna be it's gonna be great when it comes out and um it might going to be a, a great social networking site when they when they do go public so yeah so um for so to wrap up today um uh, to uh i'll put the links that uh, arlene and i talked about of how to find her and her fiber gigs and um uh the project she's working on and also her fan box book and so you can be in touch with her you know anytime you've got some uh, work that she might do for you yeah, sounds great. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking some time with me today, Arlene. Oh, no problem. And uh, anytime um, I can uh, help you out, too, just let me know. I'll send you, I'll, just so you know a little bit of what I do. Okay. You can, um, you can uh, just scan the uh, index, just click on the cover link of uh, that Amazon book there, and you can um, kind of see, I, I do all sorts of uh, traffic and conversion type of things and tribe building for people i run a okay. global superfood business we ship superfood um, products all over the world oh sounds good so um take a peek in there and if i can do anything for you just uh, let me know okay great thanks awesome. david yep take care all right you too ciao bye